Hi everybody, this is Ophidian. I haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, sorry for that. Obviously been really busy with releasing two albums and lots of EPs and collabs and stuff, so um, you gotta forgive me. But I promised to make a video if I hit 50k likes on Facebook and I've hit 50k likes on Facebook, which is unbelievable. That's totally crazy. I'm overwhelmed. If I just think about what 50,000 people looks like, it's ridiculous. And I can only thank you guys for uh, for sticking with me. And I'm um, happy and relieved that the content I I post on Facebook is enough to keep you guys entertained now and then. And um, thank you so much for liking and for following me. And I seriously hope that I can keep it up. Uh, the video I'm gonna do now, I promised to do a video and I asked what sort of video would you guys like to see and a lot of people asked for a tutorial. So uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial but I'm not gonna do a technical tutorial or I'm not gonna do a tutorial about plugins or hardware. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a tutorial about Butterfly VIP. Um, I know a lot of you guys still really love that track, even though it's it's ten years old now. That's crazy as well. But so I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to play Butterfly VIP. I'm gonna try to build up from real beginners level to intermediate to well, yeah, sort of freestyling in the end. I hope I don't go too fast. Let's get to the playing part. So, Butterfly VIP, it's actually a um, pretty easy track to play, um, a lot of the stuff uh, is actually sort of freestyle, when I was recording the original VIP release it was freestyle as well. So, you know, I might not play it exactly the same as on the record, the same li as um, when I'm playing live, I don't play it exactly the same, I play it a little different every time. I could probably play it exactly the same if I really tried, if I really wanted to, but for me it's just a track that I stick to a certain pattern and um, from there I just see what happens so obviously it's not gonna I'm not gonna start off with that, just throw you guys in there, I'm just gonna start with the basics okay so for the for the beginners level what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play the main part of the melody and Obviously you can see on screen what the notes are and uh, I'll go through it slowly so um, you can follow along. i just play it through once. It's actually all it is, just repeats. And uh, if you want, you can play it with two hands. So basically all it is, is play a, a D minor chord for if you know what that is. And just start in the A, A note, A, F, E, D. Let's keep going. A F E D A F E D until you've played that uh, three times and then you play the high C C F E D then you change the high key to the B flat and play it again B flat F E D again the C and you're out again That's 
that's all there is to it. That's the, the, the basic melody line. Um, if that went too fast for you, you can pause the video and look it up again. So now for a, li a little more intermediate um, level. Um, if you know a little bit about theory, you might know about uh, chords. You don't know, need to know a lot of chords because a butterfly actually only has two chords. It's the D minor chord followed by the B flat major seventh, which is the B, the normal B flat major with the A. It's a major seventh. So if you know that, you can play along with the left hand. You just uh, break the chords like you would on a traditional piece, maybe. Whatever you want to do, just uh, mix it up with the right hand. If you have that part down, you, you know most of what you need to do with the left hand. It's basically it. You can freestyle the whole song if you know how to play. Um, if you want to know exactly what the track is like, I'm going to do that now. Um, just to illustrate, you can follow along on the MIDI notes. And that's it. It's just a D chord and the B flat major seventh. There's one trick that I use when I play this. I did that when I wrote it the first time and that's still how I play it. The trick is actually I cross my thumbs around around here, around the A and the B flat, because you don't have to do that if you don't want, but that's the way I, I play the play the B flat chord in the bass with the left hand and go to the A with the right. And that gives it that small second sound that, that's so iconic in the track. So there it is. And in this part as well. So that's the secret. <laughs> I don't know if you, you would actually use that thumb trick as well, but that works for me. That's how I got the, the specific way that the original is on the, on the record. So for um, the last bit, I think I'm just going to do a freestyle uh, of the basic chords. And uh, I encourage you to do the same if you just stick to breaking the chords with the left hand and playing along with the right you can't actually go wrong and um, I'm just gonna play something I'm not, I haven't prepared anything just see what happens and obviously you can watch on the screen what I'm doing and um, yeah if you wanna go try it out that's that's really cool 
you can send me video responses or I don't know, send me a link if you tried it out. So um, here it goes. So that was it. I hope that um, it helps. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be really clear or not. I haven't, like I said, I didn't really prepare a lot. And um, I'll have to see you when editing this video if it makes any sense. I hope it does. So, yeah, that's the Butterfly VIP tutorial. Um, thanks a lot again you guys everybody and um, I hope you stick around and I'll really try to make uh, videos more frequently than I have lately but I won't promise it sorry All right see you guys bye ik weet het ook niet meer ik weet het niet meer Heeft dit zin? Ik heb echt geen idee. Nou, zo moet het. Dat is eigenlijk alles.